Packaging like this might seem kind of boring, but it's actually really important to the products that we use and buy every day. So packaging design is a science, art, combined technology to create the protection to get from where it might start to your final destination without any damage to the product. We also need well-designed packaging that limits the negative environmental impacts of using plastic and paper in our packaging. It's all about reduce, reuse, and recycle. Whenever we buy something at a store, chances are that it's in a package of some sort. And if it's a large or heavy breakable object, say for example like a sink or a toilet that I work on, it needs extra cushioning to make sure that it gets safely through the transportation cycle all the way to the destination. This isn't just a good example about how to protect and ship something large and heavy, it's also a good example about using math in the real world, especially when it comes to figuring out what kind of packaging will help keep these items safe and prevent them from being broken or crushed. We have a saying around here, it's not the fall that hurts, it's that sudden stop. Yep, that's why we need to incorporate math into our packaging design. We can use math to determine bearing area to cushion a product, calculate impact force during free fall, and determine how much cushion we need and how dense it should be depending on impact heights and velocity. For our problem today, we're going to uh, calculate the impact velocity of a 25 pound object falling four and a half feet. But to make it simpler for us and to do the calculations, um, we're gonna do what engineers do and we're gonna convert it to the metric system. We're gonna use kilograms and meters. Now that we've got determined the impact velocity, we can use that directly to calculate the force at which the object hits the ground. From there, the packaging engineer will develop the actual protection system styrofoam or whatever else might be inside to keep the item safe all the way through the transportation system. And we're going to express the answer in Newtons. A Newton is a unit of measurement developed by Sir Isaac Newton after he saw an apple fall from the tree. It is the basis of the metric system and one Newton is the force needed to accelerate one kilogram at the rate of one meter per second squared. So now that we've calculated both the impact velocity and the actual impact force, the package engineer would use that to design the actual protection system. So the important part of being an engineer is taking that information and applying it. And so they're going to be determining the right material to use, the right quantity of material, and always keeping in mind the overall economics, how much it costs, but more importantly, what kind of impact it has on the environment. We go way out of our way to make sure that everything we do is as minimally impactful as necessary. And now we know how to use math to keep sinks and toilets from being broken on their way to your house.